Austria's far-right Freedom Party candidate has come top in the first round of presidential elections, projections show. Norbert Hofer has about 36% of the votes for the mostly ceremonial role, not enough to avoid a runoff in May. Independent contenders Alexander van der Bellen and Remigard Gress are fighting for second place. For the first time since World War II, the candidates from Austria's two main parties did not make it to the runoff. Rudolf Hundstorfer from the Social Democrats and the People's Party Andreas Klar each thought to have taken about 11% of the vote. Both parties have governed Austria for decades, either alone or in coalition. This is a big shakeup in Austrian politics, the BBC's Bethany Bell in Vienna reports, as the country has had a president from the centre-left or centre-right since 1945. The clear victory of the far-right candidate reflects widespread discontent with the status quo, as well as concerns about immigration and the economy, our correspondent says. Support for the Social Democrats and the People's Party has been falling in recent years. In the last general elections in 2013, the two parties won just enough votes govern in a grand coalition. If no candidate secures a majority of the votes in the first round of the presidential elections, the runoff will be held on 22nd of May. Incumbent President Heinz Fischer, 77, cannot run again after two terms in office.